Bake sales and car washes aren't enough to fund fire protection. It's the, the traditional way to help pay for the cost of operating volunteer fire departments. KFTM reporter Leslie Rangel explains Jefferson County is considering the creation of another emergency services district number four to fund fire protection in LaBelle Finette and Cheek. Volunteer fire departments like LaBelle Finette often hold fundraisers like this one last July to raise money for equipment and other operating costs. Uh, we'll continue to have barbecues and ask for donations, but you know, those just won't cut it. We're going to need a steady income. Ken Duhon heads the Cheek Volunteer Fire Department. During the commissioner's court meeting, the county accepted a petition from Duhon to create an emergency services district to help his organization and LaBelle Finette. It's a very small tax, and uh, I'm told most homeowners will recover that money and some in their insurance. The tax would amount to 10 cents for every $100 value of a home. A board would oversee the emergency services district and distribute money to the fire departments. We won't have enough operating funds to keep our fire department open. Uh, they're going to turn the lights and water out. Duhon will fight to keep his department alive, a fire station that emerged in the wake of Hurricane Ike. We started with a with slab about three years ago because of the hurricanes, and uh, now we have a full functioning fire department. Equipment bought through fundraisers and grants, but it'll take more than that to stay open. <laughs> Risk it, don't make it. <laughs> in Beaumont, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News. The county will hold a public hearing next month to give families that live in the area of the proposed emergency service district for a chance to offer feedback. If commissioners call an election, it would be in May.